Solving Systems of Equations by Substitution, explained by Justin de Souza. The learning objective for this lesson is to solve systems of equation by using the substitution method. The systems of equation that is more than one equation can be solved in various methods. In this lesson, we will just focus on the substitution method. The key word is substitution, which we will see in a while. Solving systems of equation by substitution. And this is the concept. So first and foremost thing is you must understand which is the easier equation to substitute in the other. Then once you see whichever is having a one as the coefficient or an easier equation, substitute it in the other equation and then solve. We will now look into a problem. You'll understand what these steps mean very easily. Now you can see we have two equations over here, isn't it? Look at both the equations. Which do you think is an easier one? Is it 3x minus y equals negative 7 or this equation? Now what I feel is this equation is kind of arranged evenly like y is equal to 4x plus 11. I know what is the y value already, right? We need to solve these two. That means we need to equate these two or we need to find where they touch each other. Basically at this particular point, they are equal to each other, right? So what I will do is this y equal to so much, right? I will substitute in the first equation. You need to understand 3x minus y equals minus 7 is one equation and the other equation is y equals 4x plus 11. Now this entire thing I substitute over here, it'll be 3x minus 4x plus 11, use the brackets over here, because this is y and this minus sign will be multiplied throughout. Now to simplify this, you just have to multiply the minus sign, it'll be minus 4x minus 11 is equal to minus 7. Now you can solve for x. How would you solve for x? It'll be minus x equals, take this minus 11 to the other side, it'll be plus 11. So minus x is equal to 4. But now take the sign to the other side, minus sign, x is equal to 4. This is substitution. Basically, we substituted one equation inside the other and then we solved it up. Now, how do you find y? Because we need the we need to solve. That means x comma y needs to be found out. We found the x value. Now substitute the x value over here in this equation. Instead of x, substitute the value which we obtained. And then, I'm sorry, this is minus, right? x is equal to minus 4, okay? And then just solve it up over here. It'll be y is equal to negative 16 plus 11. y is equal to minus 5. The answer is negative 4, negative 5. Let's just check the answer. Here it's negative 4 and negative 5. That is the solution, what we got, got over here. Now you might think, if you have watched the last lesson, where we solve systems of equation by graphing and other methods, there are so many other easy methods. Why do we do this? This, in certain cases like this, it's easier to substitute and solve. You need to use the methods depending on the given question. But now you can use the calculator method for literally all the systems of equations. So I would personally tell you to do that because you will save a lot of time. Because over here there might be an error which I did see I did plus 4. I would have got this wrong. So if you write these two equations properly in the standard form, just use the calculator and then you can get the answer. So that will also be the correct answer. So whenever you're doing, for exam, like competitive exam, where your options, just use the easiest method, the calculator method. Now here, I will tell you the calculator method to find the last part B, but the first part they're asking is, what need to be substituted as X? Equation to find, sorry, for, uh, what needs to be substituted for Y? Here, look at the second equation. This is already given so easily. Just consider this and substitute in y. So the answer is over here 2x plus uh, 2. How would we solve? Now I will use the calculator method to show you. The first equation is in standard form x, y and the number constant number. 
Whereas this one over here, I will take the 2 to the other side, it will be 2x minus 2x plus y equals 2. Now, all you need to do is use your calculator and find the x and y values. Here, you need to go to mode and then equation, and this is one simultaneous equations for one. And now substitute the x value is 3 minus 2 minus 17. Same way over here, we have minus 2, 1, and 2. The answer is 13, so it can be any of these two, and 28, so answer is D. So the first one was C, and this is D. That's how we easily solve it out. Now the remaining problems, please do try it by yourselves. I will just go through this one, because all the other problems are the same substitution method, and you can use the calculator method everywhere. Now, in such cases, look which is an easier equation if you're doing the method of substitution. See which is easier. This is having coefficients everywhere in x and y, but this is not having an x. So what I'll do is I'll leave x over there that is equal to minus 4y plus 18. And this can be easily substituted in x over here and solved. And you will get the answer. Or we will just use the calculator method to check the answer. Here, both are in the standard form, so it's 5 minus 3 and minus 25. And what about this? It's 1, 4, and 18. The answer must be minus 2 and 5. That's negative 2 and 5. Yes, that's the correct answer, minus 2 and 5. I hope this is clear over here. Another problem, same thing. Please pause the video and try to do it by yourselves. You'll learn better. So it's 5, 3, and 5 in the first equation. And the second equation, it's 1. Sorry, this is not the answer. 1, 2, and 13. Minus 13. So just be careful. Sometimes in the questions, they'll trick you by giving the first uh, term as y and the second term as x. So always make sure the first term will be x and x, then y and y. And now the answer over here is 7 and minus 10, and that's the correct answer. Same thing over here. Just make sure you write x and y together. I'll just do it quickly over here. It's 4, 2, minus 8, and 1. Uh, it's plus 2 because this minus 2x goes to the other side. It'll be plus 2, plus 1, and minus 4. So the answer is let me just check whether I've written everything properly. Yes. Now here we are getting infinite solution. In your calculator, if you're getting infinite solution well and good, that means it's the same equations. But sometimes you will get a math error. Some of your calculator, it depends on your model. If you have a very higher model, then you will get no solution, infinite solution, or the answer if there is a proper solution. Now, if you're not getting this, if you're just getting a math error, then you need to do a step. You need to solve these equations. How would you solve this? So, first, write 4x plus 2y equals negative 18. Write this in standard form. It will be 2x plus y equals minus 4. Now, make sure you get the coefficient same. Either you multiply this by half and get it into the first same coefficient, or this needs to be multiplied by 2 and you will get the above 1. It's easy to multiply 2 or it's easy to divide also. You can do anything. What I'll do is I'll just multiply this throughout by 2. Why? Because I have 2, I need to multiply it by some number to get the answer 4. Right? These coefficients must match. The coefficients of the x must match. So it is 2 times 2 that is equal to 4 or it's 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 2. Now what you do over here is multiply this 2 throughout. It will be 4x plus 2y equals minus 8. Now you can compare these two equations and tell these are the same equations. They are literally the same. That means you will have infinite solution because they are uh, consistent and dependent on each other. That's the answer. Over here, if you're doing the substitution method, what happens is when you solve, you won't get an answer. You'll get an identity. Both the sides will just be equal because the x values cancel off. 
when you multiply this to 4x and minus 4x, it's gone. Only the variable numbers remain. Minus 8 equals 8 or 0 equals 0 if you divide both the sides by minus 8. It's an identity no matter what they're equal. That means it's infinite solutions. So that's how we do it. And uh, when graph the equation will be the same. If you graph these both, you will get the same line of equation. You can take time, go to Desmos and just put these both equations on Desmos. You can see they are the same line. Over here, we will try this in the calculator and see what we'll get first. It's minus 1, 2 and 2. The next equation, this half x goes to the other side, will be minus half or 0 0.5. And y is 1 and lastly we have 1 over here. And now again we are getting infinite solution. So to double check. I will just, if at all your calculator doesn't give you infinite solution and it's a math error, you need to do this method. Minus x plus 2y equals 2. Write this over here. It will be minus half x plus y equals 1. Multiply this throughout by 2. So if you multiply negative half by 2, you will get negative 1. That is the coefficient over here. If nothing, it's minus 1, right? So that's the thing. So now what we do is it'll be half times 2 is minus 6 plus 2y equals 2 and this is equal. So if they both are equal, this means that is the same equation, same line, same graph and they are infinite solution because they're consistent and dependent. We have studied about uh, consistent, inconsistent, dependent and independent in the previous lesson. So if you have forgotten, please go back to the previous lesson and be thorough with it. And we have even used the same method in the previous lesson. So you can recall over there as well. So we are the answer will be the D for this particular question because we're getting infinite solutions D. We move on to a real world problem about tree preservation. A town ordinance defines an adult tree as having a diameter greater than 10 inches and sapling to have as having a diameter less than 10 inches. Okay. The ordinance requires that a new building project uh, requires that on a new building project, two new trees are planted for each adult tree felled. Okay. Now, what it means is over here, they are doing a new construction project where a building is being built. So here, if you cut down any trees, say, for example, you cut down an adult tree, you need to plant two extra trees okay and then if you cut down a sapling you will have to plant six new trees so these are the conditions last year there were 167 trees fell that means so many were cut out now let me just first write um, what is the adult tree and sapling so here we have adult tree a sapling s so totally a plus S was how much last year? They make cut 167. And the community planted 700 and, uh, 742 replacement trees. How many each type of trees were there? Okay, this is about number of trees that were felled or cut out, cut down. And this is what? 742. It is the replacement trees. What is the replacement condition? If it is an adult tree, two new trees. So if it's two adult if it's adult tree cut, two adults. And then six new sampling, uh, saplings. So this is the two equations. That's it. If you look in, the uh, look in the question properly, you have the equations. Now you can just take out your calculator and solve this. Here all you need to do is type in the equation. Now consider A to be X or anything. You can consider S also to be X. It's fine. But make sure whatever the A first value you put over here now, the coefficient, this is 1. S is 1 and 167 and over here it is 2, 6 and 742. Now whatever the first answer we get is the value of this coefficient, this one A. What is that? It's 65 and then we have 102. Let's just check the answers. So these are the two equations which we have got. Now they have written in a different uh, variable that is A and T. We have written A and S. That's fine as long as the equations are correct. And then you just basically solve them up. What did we get for 
adultery wait let's see the adultery is over here 65 did we get x as 65 yes whatever we got first is a value that is 65 and next one was 102 yes that's the correct answer 65 and 102 are the correct answers that's how we solve this you can use the substitution method you can see over here you can go through it by yourselves this is the substitution method that has been used and then we got the answer uh, so there were 65 adult trees, 102 saplings, saplings fell. So therefore, there were totally how many? 700 and 742 replacements done. There's another check problem. Please do try to solve this by yourselves. It's just like the previous problem. Just the, you know, the context has changed. Kyamani has two equal size large pitches and two equal size small pitches. All of the pitches together hold 40 cups of water. The capacity of one large pitcher minus, okay, the capacity of one large pitcher minus the capacity of one small pitch is 12 cups. How many cups do they hold? Okay. Now, two small sized and two large sized. Now, let's take uh, small sized as S, large sized as L. There is two small sized, two large sized. When you add them up, how many do you get in total? You get 40 cups. What about the other thing? One large pitcher, okay, large pitcher minus the small pitcher. Now, since I'm writing S first, I'll write over here minus S plus L. That must be equal to how many cups? 12 cups. Okay, that's it. Now, over here, this is just rearranging. Now, if you want, you can write everything large pitches first, but I saw over here small pitches was first, so I wrote S first. It's up to you. You can even rearrange this. So now, over here, we have these two equations. All you need to do is use your calculator and solve it up. Now, same thing what we did just a while ago. Here, it's 2, 2, and 40. And over here, remember, it's minus 1, not 1, minus 1, 1, and 12. So what are the answers? We have four. How many cups? Uh, how many you know cups do each hold? Small pitcher can hold four cups, whereas large pitcher can hold sixteen cups. Four and sixteen. That's your answers. So this is how easily you can solve these problems. And we are at the end of this lesson. This was solving equations by uh, using the method of substitution. I hope this has been helpful. Please do consider subscribing to my channel and please do like and share my videos to anyone who would benefit from it. That would mean so much to me. Wish you all happy learning and see you in the next video.